In this Revit tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a color scheme uh, based on department. So here's a completed one here. This is what we're going to end up with or something very similar. The colors might not be exactly the same, but typically these plans are used to convey um, different zones in your building. So how your building is organized. So you can see in this example here, I've got three different departments. Um, or I've called it zones, Revit calls it department, that's the, the colour scheme name. So, for example, we've got circulation there, so all the corridors and circulation areas uh, come in that zone or department and they're coloured yellow. The public areas are shown in green and then we've got private areas, the staff room, shown in that sort of pink colour. So this is a very simple building purposely just to keep the, the tutorial short and simple. Um, obviously in a much more complex building, these sort of coloured plans are often quite useful at the design stage when you're uh, showing other designers or the client how the building is organised, where all the circulation is. You might want all like the, the, the public areas towards the front of the building, etc. So uh, producing a coloured plan allows you to better visualise the, the sort of design intent. Now, rather than you applying filled regions and manually colouring it and, and changing their shape and etc to match the rooms, we don't need to do that. We can use what's called a, a colour fill scheme to colour these automatically. And it, it's basically using the room elements to organise the colours. So, so this department parameter here holds the value of the designation or zone in which that particular room is assigned to and then the colour scheme itself is applied and will assign a colour to each of those different values. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to now reset this plan, take the colour scheme away and we'll, we'll build it up from scratch. Right, so here is our blank plan. So in order to use this colour fill tool, you need either Revit rooms or Revit spaces uh, in your model on which it can get the data out to start doing the colour coding. So if you're using Revit MEP, you might be more interested in, in using Revit spaces. For the architectural side of things, we work with Revit rooms. So let's quickly populate that model with some Revit rooms. So architecture, room, just going to quickly pop a room element into each of those. So to save you guys sitting through me typing out all those names, I just cut out a, a chunk of the, the video where I did that. So I've named these as it was in the, the finished article before. So staff room at the back, consultation room, and the meeting room one and two, and then some circulation. So we've got our Revit rooms in place. We can now look at the room schedule. Now, our current room schedule here only has one field. That's the room number. We need some more information in there. So I'm just going to hit fields. I'm going to add in the room name. And I'm going to add in the department because the department is the parameter which we're going to use to base the color scheme on. So we need that in the schedule. OK, that. Let's just tidy those up a bit. So. Notice we've got no values against department yet. So we can do that straight in here. We can remember what, what we want the, the designation of each of these to be. So I'm going to assign the staff room to be private, consultation room to be public. Now, once you start putting values into this uh, field, they become available from this drop down list. So it means if you've got repetitions we'll have here, you haven't got to type the same value out each time or copy and paste it. So the lobby is going to be circulation. Help if I could spell it correctly. I think that's better. So rear corridor is also circulation. So I can now pick that from the values I've got. The meeting rooms are going to be public. And that meeting room is going to be public. So now we've got um, designations against each of our separate rooms. So notice um, each room has a unique number and it needs that. Each room name in this case is unique, but it doesn't need to be. It's only this first field number that needs to be unique. 
and in department we've got a lot of repetition there as these various rooms fall into these different categories so that's all set up there let's go back to the plan now all we need to do now is add or create a, a color fill scheme so I go to annotate color fill I'm going to place the legend here next to the plan now it now asks me what type of color fill do I want to create and I can base it on spaces which are are really related to Revit MEP as is HVAC zones now rooms are more for Revit architecture so I'm going to click rooms and the color scheme now it takes the fields that we've got and it's going to color it by these different values now if we picked room number for example we've already seen that the room number is unique what that would mean is it would create a different color for every different room number so you'd get a long list down there a different entry because each value for that parameter is different so it would have a different entry if we pick department we're just going to get the three different values that we've we've entered into our schedule so let's do that now so space type is rooms color scheme is department hit OK it goes and creates a default color scheme now it will just assign some default colors to these values but you can go in and you can pick whatever colors you like or sort of tweak these ones that it's, it's presented you with so let's click that now so select the legend and up on the menu edit scheme and here is the the panel to control it so we can see here it's based on rooms there is the parameter being used to create this there are the three different values it's found against that parameter so the ones we put in the schedule circulation private and public they're all visible by default here's the colors that it's chosen let's go and adjust that now the trick is to get something that looks sort of a uh, pleasing to the eye but also so that it's clearly legible so let's pick yellow there and finally let's have a green for that one if you want any um, different sort of hatch patterns to, to pick out certain areas you can do that otherwise it's just going to be a solid fill based on that so apply that hit OK and there we have our colored plan based on departments.